Do we, do we clap in the same time? Thank you. Everyone happy? Most of us were here four years ago as observers for the last vote. We are here to share our observations of the Nigerian election so far. There is a longer statement from the entire group, but I'm, what I'm doing today is sharing you, uh, sh sharing the observations of this delegation that was based in Abuja. So I just want to make that very clear. The organization is bigger than the seven of us. Um, there are many other conclusions. I'm going to try to touch on the, the, the most important ones here, but we realize you guys are in journalists because we're all journalists. You're in a hurry, so we're going to try to get you out of here with what you need to, to do your report. Um, so let me stress that we've all been in Abuja, uh, the, the ones here at the desk, and have not traveled to other areas of the country to assess the situation there firsthand. We are currently monitoring in through information through the media, by engaging with other observer missions, by speaking to the contacts that we have established in our long relationship with Nigeria, and with other members of the IIFOM. We have seen some positive signs, including a reduction in violence, and a large degree of transparency in the process. But we are aware of problems and allegations of fraud. We have personally faced the challenges that Nigerians across the country have struggled with in recent weeks, the absence of cash to pay for transportation, food, and other basic needs. We are not here to pass a, a final judgment on the credibility of the balloting, as we need to collect more information before drawing any definitive conclusions but we are here to update you with, with what has happened so far. The International uh, Foreign Observes Mission will, will release our full statement uh, once, once they are printed. But one important conclusion that I would like to emphasize, it is our opinion that in, in the aftermath of elections, candidates are free to approach the courts or electoral tribunals for a review of the election process towards establishing whether or not the electoral process was compromised or not. This means it's not to be tried in the press, it's to be tried through uh, uh, official means. Now, let me give my fellow observers a chance to, to make some of their observations. Rude, would you like to kick things off? I thought it is to come and vote, because there was no transport, even myself. Uh, I didn't have a car sticker, so I had to walk to the polling station. And in the Abuja heat, that's quite a challenge, especially if you're carrying stuff. But what I saw was a, a relatively calm situation. The only stress that was there was people trying to find their names on the, on the registration list. And that was a kind of stressful event at that at moment. But I found uh, the INEC uh, staff uh, reacting to that very professionally. And then they gave people numbers so they could queue in a nice way. And that also gave me an opportunity to speak to them. So at that particular polling station, uh, things were fine. I think it can be resumed in two words, this election, especially for the French that I am. I found it enthusiastic and uh, peaceful. You can have a smile, but compared with other elections that we saw all over Africa, it's what I noticed. And I was very impressed by the number of youth and uh, young elders who yeah. are participating. It means that all this population is now really conscious of the importance to go to vote and to put his, uh, his bulletin in the, in, in the world and to bring his country um, to make it grow up and to change if necessary. So there were talks of people in lines for 9, 10, 12 hours and by God they were determined to vote and I thought that was very heartening, very heartening. Um, obviously the elections took place amid a, a complex security situation in the country in, in several parts of the area of the country as we know and this had a knock-on effect of the voting process within those areas. Um, notwithstanding the violence, some of it deadly uh, in certain parts of the country, my own observations, coupled with those of fellow observers and monitors with whom I've been in contact, suggest that the atmosphere was, as some of us already said, by and large peaceful. Um, there were clearly issues of dispute, even in those areas which saw no violence, from the late opening I mentioned of, of the polling stations to things like the checking of IDs um, and the functioning of electronic BVASs. Um, I would say that given the ongoing challenges, the results, uh, which Dan has already referred to, um, together with the claims and counterclaims which are swirling around us, even as we're all here now, 
it is still too early, I think, for us, indeed any of us, to make a definitive judgment about exactly how free and how fair this presidential election has been. However, Nigeria is a young democracy, and while there is clearly much room for improvement, as a former resident of several years of this country, I'm confident that improvement will come. Power. So, it will be charged with emotion, and this is often what leads to violence. The, the other thing is that there is no 100% free, 100% fair, 100% credibility, or whatever. They all vary in degree. So, you know, you you asked if if uh, if we had a if we would like rate this as free and fair. So we have to look at that scale of north to a hundred and see where we think it, it fits in. And it's not anything that we can do right now because we don't have enough information. The whole thing is not finished yet. Uh, there are, are disputes and we are sifting through lots of information from people who have agendas, people who have access to ground. So, you know, it's a very complex thing and people actually have to just like slow down because this is actually a little bit early. We ought to have held this maybe in a week when things are a bit clearer, but we also want to give you guys information as to where we are. So, you know, um, we will eventually be able to say where we, you know, how, how free and how fair and everything. But basically, I think this is an improvement on the last election. And I think it will grow, you know. I think the youth are, are stronger now and, you know, they will start making inroads.